Joy Lab. Hi everyone, I'm Tanya. We had a barbecue and it was build your own tacos. And we used these tortillas and we warmed them on the barbecue and it gave them this wonderful color and smell and it just was so, they were just perfect. But we have extras and these, you can't really use them the next day. They don't, uh, they're not soft and pliable anymore. So, you know, I hate to waste things. I'm going to show you today how to use leftover tortillas in casserole freezer dinners. The two freezer meals I'm going to show you how to make are different very slightly. One is a chicken base, one is a uh, ground beef base. One uses shredded Mexican cheese, the other uses a uh, processed cheese product. Pasteurized recipe cheese product, that's what it's called. They both use cream of mushroom soup, they both use an onion. We have a tomato on this side, on the beef side, a bell pepper on the chicken side. We have condensed no, evaporated milk on the beef side and salsa and sour cream. There's our dairy on the chicken side. Okay, let's get started. I'll show you our Mexican beef casserole first. You can see I've diced and sauteed our one onion and added a diced tomato. I diced that up. I should probably have cut that smaller. I have a picky eater at my house. She'll eat around those. Oh well. So these are going to be mixed together. And then we also need to make the sauce with this cheese processed product or whatever, however it's called. If you've never used Velveeta before, if you're turning up your nose right now and thinking, Tanya, I would never use a cheese product, processed cheese product, it's actually pretty good. So don't knock it till you try it. This block is 32 ounces and I need eight ounces. So there's 32, half of 32 is 16 and 16. Half of 16 is eight, and I'm gonna mark this just so I don't forget that we have eight, 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 eight. Eight times four is 32. Look at that, <laughs> isn't that fun? We need to uh, make it so it's not just a big cube so we can use it in our sauce for our Mexican beef casserole. We've got our cream of mushroom soup, which is a favorite in casseroles. Evaporated milk. There is a difference between condensed milk and evaporated milk, so make sure you follow your recipe properly. And then the diced green chilies are supposed to be drained. So I'll drain them right here. Because that's enough. Now this needs to be uh, Heat it on the stove so it is all melted and mixed up together. I'll do that and while we're doing that we can build our casserole. I'm using these pans. The recipe is for a 9 by 13. These are 8 by 10. So it'd be better if I had 8 by 8. Two 8 by 8s are the same as one 9 by 13. Since I'm not, we'll make do. And actually, with this recipe, it does work. I need to spray my pans. The recipe actually calls for tortilla chips, but instead of that, I'm using up my flour tortillas because remember, I need to get rid of these flour tortillas. And I'm gonna do about four tortillas worth in each pan. Okay. 
Now the cheese sauce, that's two. The cheese sauce is going to soak in to these parsley stale tortillas. And so that's what makes you able to use them again. That was three. family you can of course freeze it in a 9 by 13 pan and serve it all at once my family isn't that large just four of us and one of these casseroles is enough for our family and then we have a couple of lunch leftovers for the next day if we have company then I can pull out both of them four tortillas in each now I'm going to Put half of the meat mixture over each of them. Make sure I have those onions mixed in that would enough. Did you see how I did that one by one in each? That makes, I find that it's easier for me to make sure it's even, evenly distributed that way. And I have about this much left. So now I'll just scoop it out. And tomato all around. See what I mean about should have diced the tomatoes more? Oh well. Let's go see if the cheese is melted. It takes a while for the cheese to melt all the way so make sure you check before you pour it in you don't want the cheese all in one bite all right so remember this is the cheese product the evaporated milk the cream of mushroom soup and the diced green chilies now you'll put it on each And it will, this sauce will soak into those flour tortillas, soften them, and they'll be so good in this casserole. Again. You may be thinking, well, Tanya, why do I want to eat the same thing? Twice. Why am I making two of these? That's the wonder of the freezer meals. You don't have to eat them in the same week. You don't even have to eat them in the same month. You don't even have to eat them at all. You could just pass on one to a neighbor who had a baby or a friend who just moved and needs has no food in her kitchen all right that looks pretty even so i'm going to just eyeball the rest but these do these keep in your freezer for several months so if you serve it this month the next month you can serve it again in your family will remember it, remember that they liked it, and be very happy. And you'll be happy too, 
because all you have to do is pull it out of the freezer the night before, put it in the fridge, then when you get home, it's all thawed and ready. You just need to bake it for 350 degrees for about 20 minutes so that it heats through. Easy for you, tasty for everyone. I'm gonna let these cool before I wrap them and freeze them. Now let's do our chicken dish. Now on to our chicken dish. This is a chicken tortilla casserole. Um, and it's almost like lasagna. We're gonna layer it like that. You can see I sauteed together my bell pepper and my onion. Everything is going to get mixed in with the chicken. This chicken is a different color than just plain old chicken breast because it's, it's already a seasoned chicken. Then the cream of mushroom soup. The salsa. This is two cups and it asks for a cup and a half, but the sour cream makes it taste really good. So I'm gonna just estimate and almost use it all. What do you think? That'll be pretty good. Oh, I think I should have used a bigger bowl. It's gonna be easy to spill. Looks pretty good. This dish also is for a nine by 13 pan. And these are eight by 10, remember? So I'll just divide it between the two. No six, no stick spray. All right, and now we just start layering things. Now we start layering. It's the chicken, tortillas, cheese. Chicken, tortillas, cheese. Twice. All right, so how can I? Chicken, tortillas, cheese. Chicken, tortillas, cheese. I'm gonna just kind of estimate a quarter of this. That's pretty good. Spread that around the bottom. Chicken tortillas cheese. Now, I've done it where I just open up the tortillas and put them flat. And I've done it where I've torn them up on each layer. Either way works. Chicken tortilla cheese, because look, those tortillas go right out to the edge. How much cheese? Cheese is good. But if there's too much, then your dish just comes out of the oven kind of greasy. You can see how this tortilla wouldn't be good with a taco because it just splits, but it's perfect for this casserole. Chicken tortilla cheese, chicken tortilla cheese. Maybe a little more cheese. All right, 
this is our second layer so half goes on each now here it's going to be harder because i can't push it around with my spoon so i'm going to do my scooping method one each So now I have to be more careful when I spread the chicken mixture because it will push the cheese out of place. But it's a casserole. It's all going to get mixed together. The layers will be noticeably and noticeable enough. So we don't have to worry about everything being perfect. Actually, that looks pretty good. You do want to try to push the chicken mixture to the edges so that the tortilla gets the moisture from that salsa and sour cream. And cream of mushroom soup has the moisture too. One more layer of tortillas. Chicken, tortillas, cheese, chicken, tortillas, cheese. Very good. Ready for the foil. Uh, and it looks like our two beef casseroles are ready in the back. I'll foil these for us. This is the chicken tortilla casserole. You thaw, then bake, oops, no, uncover. Bake 350 degrees for 30 minutes. We were going to throw away those tortillas, but instead we got four freezer dinners out of those tortillas. My name again is Tanya. Thanks for being here today. If you have any interest in making freezer meals for yourself, for your family, just click the link below. Bye-bye. Joy Lab. Learning done right. Learn more with Joy Lab. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Visit us at www.joylab.biz. Thank you.